All right, guys, welcome back to GTA Online. There was another car release technically yesterday, but I got lazy, didn't really feel like doing shit. So, uh, I'm finally going to buy the car. It is the Infernus Classic, and I will tell you off the bat, don't buy this one. Wait until next week, because this one, there it is. Wow, a million for it. Uh, this one, there is nothing special about it. It is an average sport classic car. It's not a sports car, although I don't know why this one, which is a classic version of the Infernus, obviously. So this is the Diablo. The other one was also Diablo, but I guess this one's like an older Diablo. Whatever. Uh, or what was that one, a Mercy Lago? Eh, kind of a Mercy Lago, but uh, this is an old, older version. I don't know why, like the Benny version, like the Comet Retro, that's not a sports classic when this one is, but whatever. It's Rockstar. They don't make any sense whatsoever. But what does make sense is this is a bad car. They want you to buy this one. And then the next week is the really fucking good car uh which you should wait for because the next car is by far and away the best sports classic car in the game it even beats out the sterling gt by a very significant margin this one is average so wait until next week to buy it if you want the looks and you have the money then then you can buy this one but if you want a good car wait until next week because this one is it's not good but anyway, we'll go ahead and buy it, and uh, let's go, or oh, oh, we already bought it. Let's go ahead and head to the garage and pick it up and see what it's like. Hello. All right, and here it, oh. Where the hell did I get those cars? Um, okay, so I'm going to have to make room for the next one, but uh, so this is the Infernus Classic. Let's go ahead and give this one a quick test drive. Actually, we need to take it to, I'm guessing it's not a Benny's vehicle, so we just need to head to... Los Santos Customs, and uh, take it for a little... Eh, actually, no, you know what? Fuck it. We'll take it to my my uh, uh, office garage thing. So, uh, I don't know if this one has downforce on it. Doesn't have very good acceleration, though. Top speed is all right. No, oh, that... Mm. Okay, so not very good traction. Let's see how it does with bumps. Actually, it's probably not a good place to test it. Oh, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and get this modified, and then we'll do a, a quick driving test with it. What are we doing today? All right. We are back in the garage. So, uh, apparently there are some Anything decent... Uh, some, some decent uh, customization options. Engine. Okay, so there are engine blocks. You can change those. Engine cover. Uh, respray skirts. Splitters, okay, a couple of those, spoiler, and, okay, oh, wait, okay, well, it comes with the stock spoiler, so, uh, you do get a traction increase from having any form of spoiler on here, so there is no downforce modifier with this car, uh, unfortunately, when I was driving it with the, whatever spoiler came on it, did not feel like it had that much grip, so, uh, we'll have to see, but anyway, suspension, transmission, turbo, wheels, okay, so, I guess there's really not that many options. Well, I'll go ahead and get this thing kitted up and see what it looks like. All right, and here she is. Of course, I. Oh, oh. There we go. Uh, of course, I went with the uh, traditional color scheme that I normally go with, which is horrible, but at least you know that it's mine. So we got the fluorescent blue, lime green. At least they got the V12 in there. Uh, really, not as many customization options as on other cars, like the Itali GT or the. Um, not the Rattan, that thing just sucked. What was the one that came before that? Was it the Rattan, the one that came up with the DLC? Fucking whatever that thing. Well, that actually had a decent amount of customization options. I mean, this one you can get, like, different colors of these. There are these side splitters or a different type, but that's it. A uh, few wings, most of them look terrible. <coughs> I mean, that one looks terrible, but at least it's not carbon fiber. Change the interior, which just fucking blanket color changes everything. And then skirts and, like, four front splitters. So not a huge amount of customization. But, you know, it's decent enough. But anyway, let's go ahead and take this for a drive and see how it actually drives. Uh, I did put sport wheels on here instead of off-road, but uh, I don't think this has the tires can clip attribute, so we don't really need to worry about that. And let's see how this thing handles bumps. Oh. No, oh, no. Oh, this thing. Oh, oh. No, oh, that was a bump. Hmm. Shit. Hold on, wait, actually, let's test. Is it for... 
I don't think this car is four-wheel drive. Let's see. Put you on the grass. I don't... Oh, can I get you high-centered? And this car does not appear to be four-wheel drive, which is not accurate because it, even the Countach was four-wheel drive. I think... Oh, at least the Diablo was. And this one's modeled after the Diablo. So, uh, yeah, this one... Oh, okay, yeah. Um, go up the bump here. Oops. Okay, so yeah, this car does not like curbs very well. So don't go over too many bumps and you should be okay. Yeah, it does not absorb them very well at all. So, I mean, it, it's it's a decent car. It's definitely no supercar as it's not meant to be because it's a sports classic for some reason. But, um, whereas all the other old versions of supercars have been in the sports class or supercar class as well. But, uh, yeah, so don't buy this one. Wait until next week when the, uh, not, this one's the Infernus. What's the other one? The, uh, uh, Turismo Classic, I'm pretty, uh, is it the Turismo? Whatever the Turismo, one that comes out next week, get that one, because that one is just infinitely better than this one, and every other car in the class, so yeah. And it looks pretty cool, too. It's a Ferrari F40. Anyway, uh, go ahead and, uh, buy this if you want to, or wait till next week when you actually get the, uh, one that's worth your money. So anyway. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.